Hi, I'm uh, Andrew Cheatham with Teva, the brand ambassador here in the Northwest. We're out right here at the Oregon Super D. We've got racers coming in. Um, just here supporting the mountain biking world with our new shoes, the Teva Lynx. Teva's getting into the mountain biking world because we, we kind of view it as one of the emerging spots in the outdoor world where people can go out their back door and play in the outdoors. They don't have to get full-fledged gnarly in the backcountry. Uh, there's a lot of park and play aspects, bike parks, trails close to cities like the Sandy, Sandy Ridge Trails here in Oregon, um, the I-5 Colonnade Park in Seattle, and uh, Valmont Bike Park, all the ski area bike parks around the world really bringing that a little closer to home for people. So uh, we see that is kind of a, an emerging spot in what we call the action outdoor world. This is our uh, free ride mountain bike shoe, the Teva Lynx. It was uh, kind of founded via partnership with Jeff Lenowski. Um, he's always built a lot of our courses at the Teva Mountain Games and he wanted a shoe built specifically for free riding. So we started with the outsole. We've done sticky rubber for over a decade plus. Ours is spider rubber. Uh, we took one of Jeff's actual signature pedals and designed the outsole pattern. So an outsole pattern designed specifically for platform pedals. And then some uh, ascending lugs here for hiking back up the dirt jumps or hiking back up the hill to hit that line again. And also uh, kind of an e-brake system here in the back. Also reinforced heel with a TPU heel. Nice squishy sole. Good pretty stiff sole but not too stiff so you still got some pedal feel. All synthetic upper, reinforced toe. And the icing on the cake is a technology that we call Ion Mask. It's a nanotechnology that's uh, coated all over the shoe, physically bonded all the way down to uh, in between the laces and everything else. So it's completely water resistant, um, but still very, very breathable and allows water to drain in and out of the shoe. And then once it gets dirty, you can hose it right off and shake it out, and let it dry for a little bit and uh, hit the bar. All right, so we're gonna do a quick little demo on the ion mask technology. This side is treated with ion mask, this side isn't. So it's a water resistant coating. And you see when I dunk it in the water here, the side that's not coated, soaked in water, the side that is completely bone dry. And that is basically what is bonded to the entire shoe from top to bottom.